Hi guys, welcome to Razor RC. Today we are going to review a pit mat. Yeah, it's a blue pit mat, kind of dirty actually. Uh, just kidding. Uh, today we got a little surprise here. Um, I'm going to do my first unboxing video. And I picked up uh, something that's you know sort of excited me for a while. And it is the TLR 22T 3.0. Brand new. Probably got released, I don't know, yesterday, uh, maybe today. Uh, I, I went by the local hobby store today and picked one up for the uh, Princely Slum of $349.99. Model number TLR03011. So I'm real excited about this uh, truck. Um, I had a 2.0, um, great truck. I, you know, I sort of raced it once in a while. Uh, I really did that well with it. Um, I think I finished a third or, or so, but um, you know, I always loved the truck. Um, it had a lot of potential, obviously, as a, a race caliber vehicle. And so uh, this just came out, and I'm, I'm super excited about opening it. Um, I haven't opened it yet, obviously, so we've got the shrink wrap. And uh, what we're going to do is just kind of see uh, what I see as I open this guy up. And you guys won't have the, the same experience, for better or for worse. So, um, there it is, QR uh, 3.0. Comes in the traditional matte black TLR box, Team Los Racing. Uh, what's it, what, what do we got here? I don't know. Engineered in California, required to complete. Bunch of tools, some recommendations. And then here on the on the back side, we've got uh, what? Oh, we got the three gear transmission. Very nice. Revised motor location. Different front suspension. Um, finally, you can mount the battery transversely. Always nice. And then a bunch of uh, nice little aluminum parts. So uh, we'll check that out and see see what's inside. So let's uh, pop these seals here. I don't even remember how you, how you do this exactly, but. Uh, you got the do not accept. What? Do not accept. I will certainly accept this. This is just one seal. Here in the bottom there. If I can actually open this, we might actually be able to see what's inside here. Okay, the 22T 3.0. You've got a body. Um, as you can see, the body's changed. The the uh, 1.0 and the 2.0 kind of had an old, funky-looking body. I never really liked it, honestly. I don't know who designed that. I apologize, but I was not a fan at all. This one's been totally redesigned. It's uh, mid-motor only in this kit. You know, kind of a blockier-looking uh, kind of design. This one's got these bed rails. And uh, you know, I like it. Pre-cut, always awesome. I hate cutting bodies, so pre-cut is always a nice thing. And then uh, when you walk through the box here, ooh, wheels. Four wheels, stadium truck wheels. Um, looks like we've got, I don't know, maybe a battery tray, some body clips, um, probably some Velcro, that, that sort of thing in there. Um, cool, a little bag off. Also inside is tuning parts. So it looks like these are going to be the inserts for the rear suspension. Um, that's one thing they changed on this truck. You no longer have to buy different uh, hinge pin braces and such. You can actually uh, use pills now to adjust things. And then it looks like we got steering block inserts um, or steering hub inserts, I guess you would call them. The traditional pivot. Uh, brace and then uh, Ackerman plates. So those are all new. A bunch of tuning parts uh, in your TLR 22T 3.0. What else we got in here? Ooh, bag F. These look like they're the shocks. So 32 and a half weight shock well. Looks like just one bottle. You know, you probably want to run something a little softer in there. But the shocks haven't changed in the 3.0. Um, the bodies, the shafts, everything's identical. These are excellent, excellent shafts. I love TLR shocks. Probably some of the best on the market. Um, I don't remember these shafts being black like that. Maybe, hmm, what's going on there? I thought they were chrome. This one they're chrome. Um, Spring-wise, 
looks like you got the yellow springs in the rear and blue springs in the front. So that's that's pretty much the same. I don't think these have changed at all. Um, pretty much 2.0 shocks as far as I can tell. Excellent though. I mean, you, you get the machine bushings, the machine pistons. Um, I think they did change the pistons to 1.6 front and rear, which is you know, kind of what people were writing towards the end um, on the 2.0. Um, rather than I think originally it was like 1.5 in the front, 1.6, but these are uh, 1.6 all the way around. So nice little box, nice little bag there. All right, we got bag C. So this looks like a shock tower. Um, I believe the shock tower is all different. You got the, excuse me, the drive shafts, the bearings. I don't know if these brown bearings mean anything. Ooh, it's like you got the uh, arms. I assume these are the rear arms. Um, the new ball cups. Check that out. These are the revised ball cups. Um, TLR ball cups are pretty good. I, I, they're very smooth. Uh, they fit really well. Um, only really had two gripes with them, which is one of, one of which is uh, that they were inaccessible by a hex driver. So you had to pop off the uh, ball cup to get to the ball stud um, to adjust it. So these are actually, I guess they call them open end ball cups. And then the second thing is they're always really hard to thread. So I, I believe that that's been rectified as well. They're a little bit easier to thread on the turn buckle. So we got the uh, aluminum timber block back here. Um, so this looks like it's kind of like the rear end turn buckles, which are steel. Um, Okay, so this is pretty much the rear end, which will be towards the end of the build. Okay, we got bag D. Yes, the bag D. Um, Transmission-wise, I don't believe they made any changes. This is still your uh, TLR, you know, basic uh, ball differential. Um, that looks like the thrust ring, but one thing they did do is actually include, yes, here it is, the HD slipper spring right there you can tell it's uh, got fear coils you can tighten it down a little more without uh, bottoming out um, that was one of the weaknesses of the 2.0 which was that uh, basically you know on, on hotter motors and, and on, on like heavier trucks like the short course truck or, or maybe the um, stadium truck the stock spring is a little too weak and uh, it's easy to kind of over tighten and then kind of uh, mess it up um, it's got the regular uh, top shaft, the two-piece top shaft with the steel threaded portion, the steel rod, and then the aluminum uh, uh, gear portion. I, I'm not really a big fan of that one. It looks like they've kept it the same. Um, you know, I, I usually run actually the MIP uh, all aluminum top shaft. So transmission wise, they've actually gone to a three gear transmission. Um, that was an option part on the 2.0. It's actually something I read on mine. Um, you know, there are a bunch of like, I would say updates they made to the 2.0 uh, that I ended up running that they've actually now included in the 3.0. So one of them is that uh, three gear mid motor transmission. So yeah, once again, this is mid motor only. The 2.0 and the 1.0, you could run rear motor, but that's no longer the case. You know, mid motor is the future. Um, Sorry guys, if you want to run a rear motor, I don't know, get a 2.0, I guess, I don't know. Um, Outdrive's there, and it comes with uh, diff grease. Um, yeah, pretty much everything you, you need to run. I, I believe you can get the black grease and the diff lube uh, all included. Let's go on to bag B. So bag B looks like it's the front end. So changes on the 3.0 is you get the variable length arms. Uh, the variable length arms, uh, you can mount uh, basically the caster blocks in two different locations. Um, those two holes there. I'm curious um, if these are the same length as the 2.0. I actually have a 2.0 front arm here. And so you can see uh, this is actually quite a bit shorter. So I wonder, hmm, what really they did it there? Yeah, the, the, the truck generally, the 2.0 truck actually tended to have longer arms than the stadium and then the short course truck both front and rear and you know i know with the 3.0s they basically are uh using the same arms front and back um between the short course and the stadium truck so it looks like i guess they end up sort of shortening the front arms or maybe they they made up that somehow on the castle i'm not really sure but uh 
Bag A. Bag A, we've got pivot blocks, we've got uh, the front camber block, we've got, um, looks like the front uh, brace, uh, and then your bell cranks here. Um, maybe we'll pop this open and see what's inside. Let's see what we've got here. Let me dump this out. Bag A, we've got, ooh, okay, the frame rails. Um, there's your black grease, little pads for the battery. The battery now goes transversely. You've got the steering ball cups, and uh, looks like the inserts uh, or spacers for the uh, servo. Also in bag A is the front pivot block. I believe you can go 25 or 30 degrees on uh, front uh, kick up, uh, depending on whether you're using this insert or not. The camera block, screws, ball studs. Okay, what else we got in here? A2. So that is the front uh, top chassis brace, or uh, you know, I don't really call it the front bulkhead, I guess, or, or brace there. The traditional uh, steering bell cranks, um, and then your steering posts, and all ball bearings. Very nice. All right, now on to the chassis. So the chassis um, is obviously different. So you can run the battery transversely now. You know, one of the weird things about the 2.0 is you, it was really meant to run subtle packs or square packs. And if you want to run a shorty, you can only run it like in line, but you kind of had to use like a different battery brace and that sort of thing. You couldn't mount the ESC in the front. So it's really annoying, you know, inline shorty only. You know, welcome to 2017. You can now run shorties inline or transversely. Um, you got nice milling here. Not as much as uh, some of the 2.0 milling, I guess. You know, a lot of people probably don't know this, but the 2.0 had two different um, chassis. You had the stock chassis, which was like basically unmilled. It was just kind of like all flat and, and kind of heavy. And then if you bought the replacement chassis, it used the same part. It was actually lightened. It um, had a lot of milling, kind of like this one, I would say. Maybe a little more here in the middle. But um, it was a much lighter chassis. It was probably like 10, 12 grams lighter. Um, you get the traditional bronzed finish. Very nice. Um, you know, recessing here for the diff. So, you know, kind of still got that traditional TLR look. Um, the TLR laser engraving there. Uh, nice little chassis. I like this. It feels um, not super light. I, I would guess this is actually heavier than the 2.0 just because you have this extra width here in the middle. Um, but, you know, it looks like they did a good amount of milling to try to lighten it. You can kind of get the servo a little lower here um, with that, that milling there. Very nice chassis. And then finally, you got, you know, the manual, you know, the uh, antenna tubes, um, stickers, a little thread lock, kind of a T-wrench here. Um, nice little turnbuckle wrench, I guess, is what that is there. And then um, probably some parts for like the battery strap, I would guess, manual. Yeah, so there you go. That's pretty much it. The TLR 22 3.0. Um, looking forward to uh, putting this together and getting to work on it. And um, hope you enjoyed the, the video. Now all you got left is the box, I guess, to throw all your stuff in. Uh, all right, anyways, if you like this video, um, Subscribe, like it, add comments. Was this boring? Was this interesting? Do you like unboxing videos? Uh, tell me what you think. And, uh, you know, hope to see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.